And then read du'a of traveling, right? Before leaving home, right? If you can say after me, inshallah, Astaudi'ukumullah, Astaudi'ukumullah, Alladhi la tadi'u wa da'iyah. Astaudi'ukumullah, that means I put in trust in Allah. Ya Allah, Please take care of my family. You know, the one who never betray the trust that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's very important that you, before you leave, look at the house. Ya Allah, I put my house and what in it, my family. If you have pet, you mention your pets, right? Feed take care of all of them. Right? The story, I think uh, maybe you know the story that a man, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he saw. Uh, a man, he looked resemble, resemble his father. He said, that, as that he look like. And then he asked, how? And he said, if you know the story, you'll be more amazed. I said, what happened? When I'm leaving, my wife was pregnant. And I asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, I put to interest, I study uka, what in, in the body of my wife? And Umar said, if you said, what in the Bali and your wife, inshallah, might be your wife still alive, you know. <laughs> right? So, very important, I said, I'll study Kofi Mali, Wa Ahli, right? My family, in Allah, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then, when you are leaving your house, say the following, inshallah. Say after me, Bismillah, Tawakkal to Allah, Wala Hawla, Wala Quwata, Illa Billah. Right? So in the name of Allah, I place my trust in Allah, and there is neither might nor power except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So don't forget the dua. Dua is very important. When you make dua, the, the angel will be, will be company you. And then also make dua when you are now in, in the car or in airplane, this is the dua you read. Okay? Just to remind you, read after me, say Allah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Subhanalladhi, Sakhwalan Hada, Wa Ma Kunna Lahu, Mukrimin, Wa Inna Ila Rabbina, Lamun Qalibun. Allahumma Inna Nas'aluka, Fi Safarin Hada, Al Birra, Wa Al Taqwa, Wa Min Al Amali, ما ترضى اللهم هون علينا سفرنا هذا واتبي عنا بؤده اللهم اللهم أنت الصاحب في السفر والخليفة في الأهل اللهم إني أعوذ بك من وثاء السفر وكآبة المنظر وسوء المنقلب في المال والأهل so if you travel a lot, you have to memorize this. Very important. How you always in your iPhone, right? But don't forget also to to read the 
the meaning, right? I will send to you, inshallah. So after you read in Arabic, so you can feel it, also read what? In English or in your language. Yeah, you can, you can also Google and you can find that, uh, this dua in your language. Number five, remember that you are going for hajj, not for a picnic or for fun. Very important. Even the clause they use, right? Is the clause for what? For ibadah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? The reason I say that because you will find a lot of difficulties. You know, when you're going to have fun, that means what you're going to have fun. Everything has to be smooth. But not like that. You're going to jihad. And jihad what? Is struggling. Right? Make a lot of dhikr, dua, or read. Quran while you are in the journey. In the Alpine had temptation, you can see the in the screen all kind of movie. Right? And they will distract you. Remember that you are you're going to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So your mind, your heart has to be ready. Preparation to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't distract by anything else. Read the book, make the gift to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? And also the Prophet said this three dua were not rejected, right? One of them dua you are traveling. Make dua a lot for your family, for your business, for this dunya. And also make dua, Ya Allah, please make, make everything smooth. I want to be smooth in Arafat, in Mina, everything. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hajj is form of jihad. Therefore, you will find a lot of difficulties on your journey. And while you are in the holy lands, you have to prepare for that. Right? Uh, maybe the flight is delayed. Maybe when you arrive, you have to wait in the airplane sometime because there is too much people outside sometime. Or sometime the, the bus, you know, bring you to the, to the station and they stay in the bus because here the, the, the hall is not empty yet. So many things could, could happen, right? So always be in control. You are in jihad. When you arrive in Jeddah, you will arrive with millions of people from around the world. It's very beautiful. Oh, Indonesia, Kosovo, you know, maybe you come from your, your, your own country, <laughs> right? Uh, but you have to wait for hours to process your passport or you will meet with rude people. So don't, don't think that when you are up there like people in America, hi, welcome, good morning, no. Tal, bro. <laughs> You're not used to here, over there, but this has to be. You know, long time ago, when people come to Mecca, they are, have difficulties in journey, riding camel, right? And then desert, you know, the less of food, sometimes they get lost. But as soon as they arrive in Mecca, like in Jannah, because Mecca people all the time, they're so nice. They will come you give good hospitality, no opposite. The journey is so easy, the oil pen, ting, and you arrive, right? And the jihad began when you arrived. <laughs> Before you jihad from the beginning. But alhamdulillah, because of the computer, you know, uh, inshallah, mostly it will take one hour, two hours. Before sometimes it's five hours. Because the system not work. But sometimes also the system not work, you have to wait. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. So when, when you expected worse, then when you find smooth, I said, Alhamdulillah, <laughs> right? Because shaitan, you know, hard not start from, from, from 16 on Wednesday, start from now. We have to be start from now. You have to be exercise from now. You be patient, to be in control. You protect your mouth, your eyes from now. Then when you, when you starting, inshallah, will be smooth. And then uh, on August 17, we arrive in Jeddah, right? Uh, the first thing when you arrive in, in Jeddah, so they, they're going to have, after they take your luggage, and they're going to put you in, uh, you know, we have, we're going to have a hard, hard terminal, big terminal, right? And if somebody get mad, you know, you know don't get angry because they're, these people was working for all day, right? So they're going to put you all American, European in one area, right? So they're going to, you follow the luggage, you put in the cart, you follow it luggage, and then you have to wait up until everybody arrives, right? 
and then I'm going to collect your passport, and then we're going to book the bus. You're going to be lined up for, for two bus, right? And then you're going to ride the bus. So the journey maybe take, you know, two, three hours, four hours, five hours, you know. From that Jeddah to Makkah, sometimes less than one hour. But they have, and during the hard time, they're going to check your powers one by one. When you enter the bus, you check one by one. And when you are in the bus, we'll check again your name. Make sure your name and your passport is there. And then also when you arrive uh, over there, they mostly bring to the maktab. Right? Our maktab is 42, I think. 43, sorry. Our maktab is 43. Remember, it's 43. And this number will continue. In Makkah, your office 43. In Arafat, 43. In Mina, 43. You know, Muzdalifah 43. So you get lost, let's look in number 43. Right? That's the number. So 43, and then also, when you arrive in the office, they're going to give you like, uh, what, breakfast? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they put uh, you, this, the, the number where you put your passport in. This become your passport. And then we'll, you, will ne you will not see your passport, your passport anymore <laughs> until you get back. You know, before you leave, they give you back your passport. They hold your passport. This become your passport now, right? So, uh, and then we're going to move to masjid, uh, close to the masjid, check in the hotel, take rest, and mostly we make, inshallah, make umrah after Isha, after we have dinner, take rest, about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, right? And then we start umrah, because you're going to be tired, you need to rest, right? It is very important that when, when <laughs> When you're going to pray, when you're going to do ibadah, you need always in the state of freshness. Because some people sometimes they're, they're first team. For example, just example, if you're tired now, dohor already sleepy, so pray dohor in the masjid and then pray asar. You go home and sleep. Sleep. So, so maghrib until fajr, you are fresh. Because if not, you just sleep a little bit and you go back asar, that you're not pretty good because you're sleepy. And then at night you get into tawaf, you are tired. So Allah, the shaitan like that. Shaitan want you to do a lot, but you are not really praying. Because mm. your mind, your body is, is weak. Right? Because one time I, I remind somebody, he, he do umrah every day. I said, brother, you know, hajjad. Oh, I'm strong. And then when the Arafat is very sick. The moment is very important to be fresh, and he was very sick, <laughs> right? The Prophet always reminds us, well, in, uh, your body have rights, right? So, so after 10 o'clock, for example, so remember that we are in the state of Ihram. So when you, when you are in hotel, so you are instead of Ihram. You cannot just take off your, your clothes or chain or take shower. No, you are sleeping with your Ihram. You go to the restroom with your ihram. You can take up your ihram in the restroom, but they come back, you're wearing the ihram again. Right? Until finish everything. And then, uh, from our hotel, just go down, you see the Kaaba. You walk into the masjid, so make intention for tawaf, kudum, and tawaf, umrah. Now, why two? Tawaf al kudum, or tawaf, umrah. That seven times the same. Right? After, after finish, seven times, you pray in. Makum Ibrahim, you drink zam zam, then you walk to the sa'i, right? Make sa'i seven times. Make sure that before you take up your clothes, you make tahallul, you know, shaving or trimming. Yeah, trimming is better than you make, you want to shave, you shave after the hajj, right? Everything hard is done. So woman just at least three hairs, you got it. So from August 18 to August 23, you know, you are in Haram now, right? So what you do, do a lot of ibadah in Masjid Haram, yeah? And we will have one day visit to the historical places in Makkah. You will go to the, to the mountain of uh, Hiro, where Rasulullah received preparation, the mountain when Rasulullah went escape, and also go to Arafat, Mina, Jamarat, because during the, the hard time, it was, it was be parked and crowded. You cannot see. 
right? So you can, if you want to see how Hawa and Adam was meet in Jabal Rahmah, so you go there. There's an inti now, right? So it's very important. So one day I brought some people to Jamalat. And before he leave, they said, wait for me. Or stone you can. <laughs> he looked like make, make an arrangement with shaitan. <laughs> Learn how to pray janazah. Because every after salat, you hear this. As-salatu al-amwat. Pray for amwat. That means maybe 20 people died. Right? Every after salat, the old people, the, the imam will make announcement. Mostly amwat. That means not more than three. It's amwat. Sometimes salat al mayyit just one. But mostly amwat. So salat so, so uh, janaza, as you know, for takbir, right? After the first takbir, he said Fatiha. Waladdolin, Amin. Second takbir, Allahumma salli Muhammad, wa alayhi Muhammad, kama salata Ibrahim, wa Ibrahim, until innaka hamidu majid. And then, after the third one, make dua for the mayyid. At least, Allahumma kfir lahum, warhamhum. Allahumma kfir lahum, warhamhum. May Allah forgive them, have mercy upon them. And then you make dua, Rabbana atina, whatever dua that you memorize, okay? And then he said, Allahu Akbar again, then Assalamu Alaikum. Over there, only one salam. Right? Assalamu Alaikum. Khalas. Right? Then that's okay also. Both is okay. So now, so we have about five days already in Makkah now. You enjoy everything you want. You, if you want, for example, you, you would like to do Umrah, you can do Umrah when you are in Makkah. Right? So we are going to leave Makkah to Medina. We're going to have Salah for prayer, remember, because the, the flight, I think, about 3 o'clock? Yeah, about 3 p.m. So that means, inshallah, after breakfast, about 10 or 11 o'clock, we go to Jeddah, airport. Right? And we're going to fly it with Saudi Ireland, you know, domestic uh, flight by airplane. So, you arrive in, in Medina now, and then, uh, you know, the first thing you do, you, you check in, take shower, and then if you want to visit the masjid, just visit. Alhamdulillah, during hard time now, it's 24 hour opens. I hope so. Because every year during the hard time, they open. So you can come anytime. Right? So, uh, we mentioned last time about this hadith, yeah? So you have wudu before entering, it's better. Uh, pray to rakat inside the masjid and prefer be in the rawdah. If you can do a rawdah, but it's difficult. Go rawdah at night for men especially. For women have certain time. So after fajr, after asal, I think, and then at night. Yeah. And woman is, is not a splicing time. Woman very crowded. They're going to divide it into the group. And a sister, they're going to find a sister rude than men. Yeah. Very, very rude. Right, so you have to be in control. <laughs> right? Yeah. So this is Rodo. How to know that? Look at this is red, 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 red carpet, right? This is white carpet. So to know, to Rodo is to look at the carpet. Right? It's green, green and white, yeah. Yeah. Prabhupada said, between my member and the solar grave here is the garden of Jannah. Uh, during women fire, when women uh, visit open, they're going to make like a uh, barrier. So women decide, men decide. Yeah. So, so when you are face to face, in one hadith said, Ma min ahadin, nobody says salam to Rasulullah, except Rasul, uh, the Prophet said, except Allah bring back my ruh to answer the salam. So when you, when you say salam here, the angel will send to the prophet. Rasulullah, Fulan and Fulan say salam to you. But if you are there, the Rasulullah SAW answer the salam. Right? So you can you can say salam whatever you want. You can say after Allah, Assalamu alaikum. Ya Rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum. Ya Nabi Allah. Assalamu alaikum. Ya Khaira Khalkillah. Mean oh the best of Allah creation is the meaning. And then assalamu alaikum ayyuhan nabiyyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh yang yudit tashahud right so it is sunnah when you make sawa you face to face 
For men it's easy because they're going to, this, there is, uh, this is inside. So for men it's easy. This is called Huna Rasulullah. Here Rasulullah. Here Rasulullah. So you, you, you just in the fall of that one, you said, Salamu alaikum ayyuhun nabi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. For women, you are from the behind. So you didn't see the sign yet. Right? Uh, so this is when you're walking from here. This is during the empty time. And then we're going to visit historical place. This is just last year. This is Masjid Kuba. You know, the first Masjid had been built. The Prophet said, whoever leave his house and pray to Rokat in my Masjid, he will get the word, the word of Umrah. He loved to visit this masjid. Right? Shalom, over there we're going to talk, talk the story about Masjid uh, Kuba. Right? We're going to visit also Uhud, all the historical places. We're going to have class in Shalom over there in, in Medina, in Makkah. Before we leave, we talk about you know, what we're going to do in Medina and what all the historical places that we will be there. So don't worry. So this is just summary. Now, uh, leave Medina, mostly after Dohor, right? We're going to Azizia, right? This is the, the, the time is closer to hard time now. So we are now on, on 5th Dhul Hijjah. And the hard start from 8th Dhul Hijjah, so two days, right? So we're going to stay uh, on this uh, uh, Azizia. Right. This is the building that last year we still used the same building. We didn't have the, all the pictures go up. This is a high building. This is we have the last year. And this is the restaurant and meeting area. You know, you go down, you know, this uh, meeting area. And then we also we have Musallah, right? This is the city of Azizia. The, this is how it looks like the city. is a big city. And during, during the hard time, it's more crowded. <laughs> it's difficult to move something. Right? This is easy at night. Right? So now we are on the August 30, on Eid al Hijjah. We're going to Mina by bus. Right? Though maybe about after breakfast, 9 o'clock, 11 o'clock, you know, mostly before the whole time. Right? So we're going to arrive in Mina. Everybody going to have. They're going to provide us with the mattress, right? But you have to bring, uh, I think, don't forget to bring the sleeping bag. Because then after Mina, you know, when you're going to Arafat and then Muzdalifa, Muzdalifa, nothing there. It's empty. Like, like, like over there, in front. Exactly, uh, it was a parking lot. So we need to bring something for you to pray, sleep, right? And also maybe in the, yes? Is it going to be like a road or are there going to be rocks and rocks there? Yeah, rocks, rocks. Yeah, rocks, yeah. Rock. Yeah, you can buy. Huh? You can buy the city right there. Yeah, you can buy. There is uh, about the safe way, but they call Bindawood. <laughs> yes, you can find everything in Bindawood. Yeah, but if you buy from here, it's better. Right? But if you miss something, you go there, you'll find anything, whatever you want, and bin Dawood, right? So, uh, in, in Mina, no, on the 8th, this is uh, one of, of uh, Sunnah, not Wajib, right? But you, because Rasulullah is stopped in Mina first, preparation for Arafat, so we follow the step of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Mina, what are you going to do? Just pray. Pray the hall, right? Two rak'at, the hall, and then have lectures. And then Asar, Turukat, lecture, Maghrib, Turukat, and we're going to have everything there. You sleep, you eat, everything in the same place. You, you look like sardine, right? They have air condition, right? Big air condition, but it's all will be heat, 100, 120, you know. So I think it's good to bring something. If you still feel hot, so you can bring your, your own <laughs> van, right? If you have. Outside very hot maybe, right? Uh, but you are better now than, than before. You know, the tent is good, right? And, and also, uh, if in, when you have, want to go relief, you go outside 
and uh, so don't make wudu or take shower before the salat he will line up for 20 minutes half hour everybody will be there <laughs> yeah try to and also try to, to preserve your stomach don't eat too much biryani or spicy food <laughs> because <laughs> if you if you're in hurry nobody will have rahmah to you <laughs> I said, no, me too. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 and they only have, uh, uh, like American toilet, only two mostly, in, in, in two corners. But in the middle, always like in old fashion. Right? Yeah, just sit down like this. <laughs> yeah, so you have to be careful. So bring also the toilet paper, because there are toilet papers there, eh? Because you have to clean before you start it. Right? <laughs> so Alhamdulillah, the water is good. There's water there. Yeah. And also, the same time you do number one, number two, the same time you take shower or something. <laughs> That's the same, same place. Right? So now, uh, so now you, so you pray Dohar, Asar, Maghrib, Isha, and Fajr. And after breakfast, right, we pray Kutu, Arafat. Maybe, Something nine o'clock, ten o'clock, something earlier than that. You know, we're going to have lottery because we have many uh, what you call agents. All agents have groups, right? So Alhamdulillah, mostly the important thing we arrive in Arafat before Duhur because Arafat start from Duhur time, right? So when you arrive in Arafat. And it's better you just relax, not do anything, because there's no, no value on that time. The value of Arafat is from Dohar time. Mostly you sleep, you sleep. So you really prepare for, for after Dohar until Maghrib, right? See how it looked like Arafat during the, the hard time. A lot of people died. And basically you don't need to go here. Everybody just in your own tents. Remember it's hot and heat and you crowd it. How are you going to make dua? People something just want to go there. And people are trampling something. Right? So just stay in here. Because the Bible said, all Arafat are the same. You are in the mountain, you are outside the mountain, it's the same. Right? As song is the sign there. The, with, with the yellow color, yellow colors, yeah. This is the beginning Arafat. This is the end of Arafat. So make sure you are inside Arafat. Shalom. We're going to be with you, though. So yeah, yeah, all, all no, together. No point in, right, okay. Yeah, you'll be with us. Yeah. We'll have to look for Yeah, some people, I only advised them, I think, what, three years ago, I advised them just stay in the tent. He wants to go to the mountain. Number one, he got lost. Number two, he lost his shoes. <laughs> and he came back almost maghrib, almost died. He missed dua, he missed everything. Because after the we end to have a khutbah, right? Pray to the khutbah, they make dua, right? And then mostly after asar, when Kurd will go outside, just to find any hill over there, they make dua to Allah Ta'ala. You relax, it's good, right? This how it look like, we'll be inside. This is, the dua in Arafat Sunnah is standing up. Sunnah like this. You tie it down, you lay down, you can, you really sleep, you just, just sleep for the half hour, but not three hours, <laughs> just half hour sleep. Because it's, the time is very limited, only from door to, right? Yeah. So you are inside the tent. Now, this is the, the what you call, we get to Arafat, in Arafat until Maghrib, then Muzdalifa. Then we, will go, we are going to walk from Muzdalifa to get the bus in Mecca. This is the, how it looks like Muzdalifa at night. There's a parking lot, right? You know, the restaurant room was also very difficult, right? Uh, when we arrive, in, this is, now we are, tomorrow will be Eid, right? You are, you are you already Eid now, right? So this is 10 of the Hijjah. So from our, after Maghrib, we ride the bus, we go to where? Muzdalifa. As soon as you arrive in Masdalifa, try to have wudu when you are in Arafat. So you don't need to have to line up in Masdalifa to make wudu. As soon as you arrive, we pray Maghrib and Isha. So in Masdalifa, sunnah to combine. And not sunnah to pray in Arafat. 
you know, the Sunnah is prayer. Right? He said, فَإِذَا أَفَدْتُمْ مِنْ عَرَفَاتٍ فَذْكُرُ اللَّهِ إِنَّ الْمَسْأَرِ الْحَرَامِ When you done everything in Arafat, say remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Masjid Haram. They call Muz, Muzdalifah. Muzdalifah have many meanings. Muzdalifah mean also is Dalifah mean like you, you step on the bananas, you sleep like this. Muzdalifah also mean you're walking in crowded to this place. Right? So, So we are in Muzdalifa. How long in Muzdalifa? You have to stay at least until midnight. You cannot leave Muzdalifa before midnight. If you leave for some reason, you have to pay them. Right? After midnight, you are free. Some when people are going to leave after midnight, some after Fajr. Right? This is the, the blessing of ulama had different opinions. So imagine if you have to leave after Fajr, so three million move in the same time. <laughs> Difficult. So Alhamdulillah, mostly our group, we're leaving after midnight. Right? So after midnight, we, uh, we are going to walk from Muzdalifa to get the bus to Makkah. Right? So before, after this, we go to Jamarat, and it's very difficult. And lot of people very because after Jamarat and then you go to Makkah, you make tawaf in Sayyid. So what you do, just from uh, Muzdalifa, we're going to ride the bus to where? To Makkah, to do the tawaf ifado and Sayyid. Here maybe you will arrive over there before Fajr or after Fajr, right? So mostly, Alhamdulillah, we're able to pray Eid while we can tawaf. So what happened when you when you make a tawaf or sa'i, he said, As-salatu jamiyah, that means what? Pray'id. What do you have to do? You stop what you're doing. Stop tawaf or you stop sa'i. You just pray. After finish the salat, and then you continue. And you can listen to the, the, the khatib, give you khutbah. And you are making tawaf or making sa'i. Right? So mostly... Alhamdulillah, we have many, many years. We are mostly during tough time, and then the Eid came, right? So going to Makkah fell from Tawaf and Sa'i, and return to Azizia, you know, to change our Ihram clothes with regular clothes, right? During the days in Makkah, if I, I'm making Tawaf, and I am not done with seven certain, uh, certain like seven rounds, mm. The, the, the salah, uh, they call for salah. Yeah. Every time you have salah, stop everything. So I can continue? My and then continue, yeah. For example, I am already sick now. You know? Qad qamati salah, stop. And you can see people, they was just stopping there. And then you continue, you know, just one more, for example. If you are three, you continue with four, right? The same with sayi, right? But if you do doing sunnah, tawaf, don't do it before salat or after salat. It's so crowded, difficult to move, right? So what you have to do now, so you go to Aziziyah and then you take rest. Yeah. Remember on that day will be Jumrah, right? We will Friday, we will Friday, yeah, on Friday. So on Friday, it will be difficult to go to the Masjid Haram. As even just to go there, we, we will block. So you get to pray in Azizia, we the building have Musalla there, pray Juma there. Then after Juma we have a, we have a lunch, after lunch we take rest, and after Asar you have to go back to Mina to do the Jamarat. Yeah, by bus, all together. Right? So so this is the Jamarat. When you get tour, if they're allowed to go inside, you can see this how how look like the, the Jamarat is so easy. Right? So after Jamarat, what you have to do, you, you have to walk from that Jamarat to our tents. You're going to fast the tunnels. Right? So what you have to do, so we are 10, 11, 12 Abdul Hijjah, stay in Mina, you know, for the, so every after Asar, we leave in stoning. Come back stoning. Right? And remember, always before we do anything, we need to have what? A lecture about all this. Now, this is just general that you have to know, right? 
So for our, for, from our tent, we're going to work like this. Alhamdulillah, now the, the tent house, you know, just only one way. One way here. Remember a long time ago, they was climbing, died, because only both <laughs> go in the same, in the same uh, way, right? This is how it looks like inside. Even some have a escalator, right? And uh, they have they provide with the vents, right? Yeah. So basically, alhamdulillah, you know, our heart compared to before, <laughs> everything is, is beautiful, right? So on, on, on September 3rd, in 12th Hijjah, this is the last day of throwing. Yeah. And you have to throw and then you go back. But if you, for some reason, you get lost, and you still there at Maghrib time, you have to stay again in Mina. And you have to throw again for the next day. Right? This is the Quran said, فَمَنْ تَعَجَّلَ فِي يَوْمَيْنِ فَلَا إِثْمَ عَلَيْهِ وَمَنْ تَأَخَرَ فَلَا إِثْمَ عَلَيْهِ لِمَنْ اتَّقَوْا Whoever do Jamarat, right, until Talaf, is, so on the, purpose, uh, the Quran said, you are good. Or you want to make more, until 13, you are good too. But mostly people from Indonesia, from Bangladesh, right, they can stay there for 40 days. They going to stay until 13, right? For us, it's difficult. Yeah. This last uh, uh, last year picture the the end of the Jamarat. Everybody was so happy in the time. Yeah. So when uh, after Jamarat, inshallah, we all was together. For some reason, you miss the group. How to go back to Mina? It's not easy. Just look at call Kubri Muasim. Kubri Muasim. You will see, for example, if you go back, Jamarat. You go back, Muasim. So you have to go direction of Al Mu'a Muasim. Because after that, you're walking, 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 then also there's another way here. There's no Muasim there. So don't go back there. All 10 American, 10, you know, Australian. Uh, Turkey, all al Muasim. Muasim is close to slaughtering house, right? So you get lost. Just look at Muasim, you will you will get to your tents. Yeah. Yeah. So you have finished everything, uh, right? What do you do the slaughtering? The slaughtering is automatically when you pay. So we arrange the people because no hard we go slaughtering. <laughs> yeah, if you go slaughtering, you miss everything, <laughs> right? When do you pay for your job? Huh? When do you pay for your job? I think you did, right? Yeah, we paid. Yeah, yeah. We assign people for the for it already. You know, so they know when they're going to slaughter it. Right? Yeah. So now everything done, except what? To say goodbye to to Gaba. To work for Ifado. If the sister for some reason you have period on that day, it's okay. Yeah, and also sister, you can make during tawaf, what the tawaf, during tawaf ifada, uh, so, yeah, during tawaf ifada, you can combine, make this intention I'm combined with wada, okay? But alhamdulillah, for example, uh, during wada time, you still clean. So you alhamdulillah, you can make tawaf again. But for some reason, and then, you know, something happened to you, so you already combine already. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, when tawaf father finished, what? Khalas, we are now on the 4th September, right? We're leaving Asia to Jeddah and go back to the U.S., right? Yes. When you do uh, this um, over in Mina and, and Arafat, where are our luggages? Are they going to be just staying in the museum? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. All our luggage will be in Azizia. Yeah. Until we go home. Yeah. And best, but also before you go to Medina, you can put also your luggage in the Azizia. Aziz right. So this is very important, you know. Did you already have uh, uh, physical preparation, everybody? 
Did you walking every day? Exercise? Exercise? Very, very important. <laughs> but now also we have to have mental preparation. <coughs> Number one, ikhlas. Sincerity. Ikhlas is very important because when you do ikhlas, make everything smooth. Right? What do you mean ikhlas mean? I do it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I mean? So what it mean? Whatever difficulties and challenge you have, I don't care. Because I do it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's ikhlas. The meaning. For example, like a man, he loves someone, and that, 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 that sister, you know, behind the mountain. So you get to climb the mountain, he didn't care whatever going on, right? Because what? I'm going to meet her there. So also, Allah, I don't care, I'm going to meet you there. <laughs> right? That's ikhlas, very important. Sabar, patient. Patient is very, very neat. If you know, I always said, if you are tempered, don't go to Hajj. <laughs> I advise you. Because you waste your money, your time, energy, and Shaitan said, ah, Alhamdulillah, <laughs> everything good. Patient. You're going to, going to face a lot of things, especially maybe among you sometimes. People take too long in the restroom. What are you going to do? You have stomach ache. Sister! <laughs> right, people yell at you, people push you. You get all kinds. Show it patient. Right? Ta'awun, help one another. Very important. Right? Or also called ithar, you give preference to the others. Right? Good conduct. Always smiling. Even you're tired, salam alaikum salam. You can find the hujjad difficult to smile. Salam alaikum Brother, I'm tired. Subhanallah. Smiling. Very important. You know, Jabir said, I never see the Prophet unless he was smiling. I never see unless he was, he was smiling. And sign of good Hajj is smiling. Hajj Mabrur is smiling. That's right. Right? So, uh, and then the last one is the Halal Zad. Make sure that everything you bring is Halal. Right? Panama. So this is our hotel in the Sofa Hotel. Uh, What is it? Yeah, 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 when you arrive also they have a... Uh, you may change, yeah. Can you use your debit cards there? ATM? Yes. I think, yeah, they have ATM. It's better to bring cash here. It's better to bring cash here. Okay, this is very important. Now, 50 things I only had to bring here, okay? Very important. I just read it very quick. So, do everything for the sake of Allah, only, and make the intention before you do it. Smile when you see or meet another Muslim, right? Say salam to strangers. You know, when sometime I was walking, people from Russia, salam alaikum, salam salam, I feel happy. So the same with them, right? Yeah, shake someone's hand and ask about their health. You people was walking, salam alaikum, how are you brother? If among our group or the other group. Buy a tea for someone. You know, in, in Arafat, Mina, everything, the, the price go up. Tea is two real. In Arafat, sometimes six, five real. <laughs> Somebody might go over there, they get lined up. You're already there. You give to him. Right? Fighting for, for the wife comes in the same. For your wife? <laughs> yeah, that's also. <laughs> Offer to get grocery for someone. Very important, brother. What, what, I, I'm going to, to grocery. What I can do? Right? Sit with a different country of Hajj group. Ask them about Islam and their area. Especially you are in Mina. People go outside. You talk to them. Right? If you cannot understand language, just sign language. <laughs> Something. I see someone with their baggage, luggage, such as uh, carry or carry carry it for them or remove for them. If we have all people, I must ask them. A man in Arafat making dua like this. In the front of him, a lady tried to ride the bus. 
He couldn't because he was very heavy. And he just make dua like this. <laughs> Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah, our group jump and we, we have them. Right? There is someone who is sick or ill to the medical center. In every tent, you can say medical center dead. Yeah, you, you bring it. Avoid vine talk, right? Reset talbiyah loudly and encourage the others. The baik Allahumma the baik. The baik Allah shariq. When you are in the bus, you sleep, you sleep. Wake up, the baik Allahumma the baik. The right voice, right? So they will make sure you don't eat the onion or garlic. Because <laughs> we are dangerous. Ask about the health and comfort of the elderly person in your group. Make sure they are attended, attended to. Uh, assist others in gathering stone for Jamarat. You know, uh, you say you have sister, you have uh, old man, say, you know, because after pray, uh, pray Maghrib and Isha, everybody going to find a stone. You see all people, brother, just sit down. I will take care for you. Right? Uh, make dua while in sujood. Right? Make a lot of dua because everything that you do it will be multiplied over there. Offer the stone on behalf of hadith that have limited capability. Right? Uh, brothers, don't worry, you are sick, I know. But sometimes some young people, young girls, but they are very sick. You know, you have to be like compete. Don't worry, I will take care, I will stand for you. But when it's stone, it's stand for you first. You finish seven of, finish on you, and then you. And so when you stone, don't count it. Just put seven here. Because you count it, how many? <laughs> but only seven here, you don't count it, right? Bismillah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. See, easier, right? Protect your sight by lowering your gaze. It's very, very important, right? There is a story, a funny story, a group from Egypt. The Sheikh said, you know, when you go to Masjid Haram, you know, be careful, sometimes the sister come up, because the same, the same, the same intern, woman and man. People from Lebanon, from Iran, maybe they are pretty, you know, if you just for some reason you see it, say, Ya Allah, just keep saying, Ya Allah, and walk away, right? So, the people in the front, they see Kaaba, Ya Allah, and the other said, where, where, where? <laughs> <laughs> he told the to. so you have a hard time, think of that woman, where's the woman? <laughs> because Ya Allah means see what woman, right? <laughs> He's in the cover. <laughs> so that means you can see the intention is not good. He said, well, well. <laughs> so, uh, remain people of the life of the Sahaba. You know, when people get, you know, get angry, he said, look at, look at the Sahaba, how difficult is they are. Right? Read Quran with Tafsir. Try to find translation. Yeah? Do the authentic zikir of the morning and evening. Right? That you have that book for the dua. Remain people of patience. So when people start get angry, she's going to say, Haji, Haji. You know why people call Haji? In Arab country on that time, when people call Haji is to remind them. Because he come back from Haji, and he do something not supposed to. Haji, Haji, Haji. <laughs> no become title, right? <laughs> haji, Haji means to remind, you are Haji, man. You spend all money, you still do this. <laughs> So just remind it. Even over there you can say, most people over there like this, hajj, 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 <laughs> like this, right? And if, if you are walking, people want to uh, cross you, they say, Tariq, Tariq, Tariq. So you have brother Tariq here. <laughs> so when he come hajj three years ago, why are people calling my name? <laughs> I mean, excuse me, he called Tariq, 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 right? Share and explain a uh, hajj khutbah you have heard to others around you. So maybe somebody speak Arabic, so, so when, when you hear the khutbah, you don't know. Mostly, mostly alhamdulillah, in gathering, I explain what the khutbah was on that day, inshallah. Explain the importance of uh, purifying one action for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. And then, on the Eid, you mean Mina. Right? Salat is very important, so you can, you can call. If you have an uh, iPhone, you know, uh, T-Mobile, they always uh, give you data, so you can call them. On that day. But don't call them when you're making tawaf. I am on the third throne. <laughs> people like this. And this. Hajar Asadu. <laughs> Subhanallah. We have to focus. And not only that, when you are making tawaf, and then maybe you come close to Makkah Ibrahim, 
Don't look at it. Just walking past by. If you want to go there, not during tawaf. Because you are doing ibadah to Allah. You are doing ibadah to Allah and your, your eyes, your mind go around everywhere. There's this disrespect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just make a tawaf, finish tawaf, and then you can, if you want to see how it look like, not during the, the ibadah time. Right? And then use miswak, especially before salah. You know miswak, right? Yeah. Control angers. Very, very important. Assist others with the same so as to avoid fighting or ill feeling during Hajj. Anger can invalidate your Hajj. Very, very important, right? So people are you angry, you will, you will see people fighting. Something physically, mostly verbally, and they, they focus different, they're calling name and all this. Yeah. Because some people come to didn't have this kind of training. So one time I was asked, people come as a group people, they say bad word and then they get angry, they're fighting. And I asked, said, for one country, I don't want to say the name. I said, over there, they just bring the passport, everything. They know hard training. There's no explanation that <laughs> this thing can destroy the Hajj. Right? Help people to find a place to sleep and rest. I remember this, uh, this brother a uh, long time ago, you know, for some reason he got lost and Mina was parked already. Oh man, he was like this. We spill over like this. The brother said, come here. I, 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 I want a prepared spot for you. <laughs> and the brother until now become the best friend. Just like that. Right? So we have to be also, uh, you know, give uh, preference to others. Because maybe you pray like this, right? And the Ikoma came. And man may be looking for what? For space. Just be like this. Tell yeah. brothers. Maybe it's like this that save you to, from hellfire. We don't know. We don't know which one that can save you. Right? Not by some people, people are looking for that. <laughs> Make sure that come to you. <laughs> yeah? Uh, during harsh or hot or cold weather, remind yourself of, you know, uh, an ending torment of the hellfire. Now this some, you know, long time, we was, one time we were in Hajj on December, and it was very cold, especially <laughs> in Medina. No, it's very hot, right? So Alhamdulillah, there are many trees now, right? But remember that when you are under the tree, don't try to pick the trees, the leaves, because <laughs> you have to pay the dumb, right? Yeah. Say la ilaha illallah wa hadaw la sharika la la al-mukh wa alhamduhi wa imit wa ala kulli shayin qadir 100 time. Right? The Prophet, he, he read this a lot during, during Tawaf, during Sayyid, especially in Arafat. Two du'a Rasulullah mentioned. This one, when somebody said, Allah, this is not du'a, it's dhikr. He said, yes, when you make this dhikr, Allah take care of your du'a. Allah take care of your du'a. Yeah? Say the du'a of entering the marketplace when you are good there. Give charity to those who are sell uh, small thing, small thing. You know, people. You know, sometimes people are on the street, they are really in need. You know, you can you can buy someone how much this sandal, five real. I give. This is for you. Give it back that that sandal to to, to them, right? Attend the halakha that are given in Mina and Arafah. It's very important. They always make sure that you are attend the halakha and khatira. Stay in Mina as long as you can. Some people, they, they sometimes they, they just want to go to Azizia, stay in the hotel. You know, Had basically is Arafat, Mina, Muzdalifa, Khalas. Because selling hotel, you can, you can go to any places. And the beauty of Had is here. You know, so you try as best you can to stay in this. Because also, anything you do in this place will be what? The reward multiply. But be careful also, when you do sin, the punishment multiply, right? Uh, remind people to go home as better Muslim. So when you sit down, you get to have like conference, inshallah. You know, we, we divide into many groups. Everybody tell the story, you know, their experience, right? And compliment someone uh, sincerely, right? Give the fear class after salah, you know, ask someone uh, knowledgeable. Uh, take young Muslim and fight them to sit with the elders, yeah, make them center of attention. 
uh, for men on the day of Eid offer perfume to those around you. Now you are there. On Eid days, walk through the tent reciting Talbiyah loudly while reminding others. But also in the Muzdalifah, you can also Talbiyah and Takbir. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, because that's all Eid already tomorrow. Right? And remember that the Talbiyah and Takbir have to be stopped when you enter the Masjid Haram. Khalas, no more Talbiyah. No Talbiyah during the of time. Right? Visit the sick and thank Allah SWT for all uh, he has blessed you with. Right? For example, you see somebody, oh, where's the sister? Oh, he's over there. We're very close over there. Visit them. Right? Because when you visit, the great, uh, the, you, you visit somebody sick, every step that the angel will make dua for you. Tip tawat oba man shak. Right? Especially in this place. Focus hard on helping those near to you. Right? And also something might be people will bothering you with snoring. Because in Mina, you are like sudden, right? Maybe people close to you. And all kind of snoring. <laughs> One time brother, he was recording everything. <laughs> A beautiful music. <laughs> Remember specific blessing uh, Allah has bestowed upon you and say Al Alhamdulillah. Remember Alhamdulillah, I have still done. They are in good health. I have my good husband, good wife, a beautiful house. Remember that blessing. Yeah, on that time. Uh, pray to Allah using his 90 most beautiful name. So when you are in Arafat, try to. Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Allah, Ya Rahim, Ya Allah, Ya Aziz, Ya Allah, Ya Mu'min, Ya Allah, Ya... Mention Allah's name. You can bring the name also. Allah loved it by mentioning his name first. And then you make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <laughs> Fill your pocket with uh, candies and gifts to children you meet. Yeah, on the street, you can sometimes see that. Make dua for forgotten friend and the other of the, uh, uh, of the list. Right? This is Muhammad Sharif. Uh, salah at Masjid al nabawi and Haram are worth many fault. Try to make Salah with as much as so that means try to be when you are in the masjid haram masjid haram try to pray khushu and alhamdulillah when you are there different than here you can f kind of feeling when you are in masjid haram you're crying you right i'm sorry brother hmm. khushu? khushu mean focus focus yeah submit allah SWT. You are here for a very limited time collect uh, on hasana good deed as much as possible so not only pray, sadaqah, helping people, good akhlaq. You know, good akhlaq, the Prophet said, somebody, you may, when you have good akhlaq, you're smiling, helping people, it's the reward like to pray all night. You pray all night, it's difficult. But you have good akhlaq, that's covered it. Right? Be patient and kind and gentle with others. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for another visit soon. So when you are in Makkah, what, whatever door, you always ask Allah. Ya Allah, as you brought me today, please bring me again. Please bring my family. You mentioned the name. And also, if you can put the list of the name, you put it now. At least 50 people. The one you love them or you hate them. <laughs> put in the list, right? So you can read it then. And also, when somebody asks you to make dua for you, you have to be eager to, to, to take it and put in your WhatsApp or you put in that. Because you make dua for someone, it's guaranteed to be accepted. That's the hadith said, right? It said, "Da'watul Muslim fil li akhir Muslim fil ghayb." Right? The dua of the Muslim for the other Muslim in ghayb is makbul, accepted. That's number one. Number two, the angel said, "You too." Ya Allah, please forgive him. Angel behind you, you too. Ya Allah, please make easy his life. You too. Allah remove difficulty. You too. So you already. The one who said to you too is the angel. There's more guarantee. So sometimes I bring all the lists and I read in Arafat. I just reading reading the dua because I get it, <laughs> right? But all of us people said, don't ask me a single to find new wife, a wife, <laughs> <laughs> because I have problem with my wife. Because the angel said you too. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> right? <laughs> Always enter the word from Allah for everything you go through during the Hajj. Right? So these 50 things are all, uh, I will send it inshallah. All this uh, presentation. So you can also read it again at home. Right? So before uh, we give all your passport, inshallah, any question? I'll give you five minutes, inshallah. Any question? Yes, sorry. Uh, last, a couple years ago, the list? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What you should bring? I think you sent already, huh? Yeah. I think he sent already. Yeah, any other question? The only time we're not supposed to wear any type of oil or perfume is when... When you are already make intention. When you already make intention, for example, Nawaitul Umrah, I am going to intend to do Umrah, then you cannot use that perfume. Okay. Yeah. So before that, you can? You can do it, yeah, before. In your body. Yeah. Yes? Yeah, did you say that the SIM cards here, like T-Mobile, will work there? Yeah, T-Mobile is work there, text mobile working, and also the, what you call, the, they give you data. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Alhamdulillah, because in in Mina Arafah something we didn't find you uh, difficult to find Wi-Fi. So, so <laughs> you are the movie, okay? So, so it's hard to catch Jumah and Haram. no. Uh, yeah, during that time. Well, there's only one Friday, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the defense of the uh, uh, every 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 Hajj group have different plan, right? So yes, you can go because what the problem with our with our group after that we have to go back to Mina. So sometime, you know, uh, from Haram to uh, to during the the hard time, they ask for five hundred real, something more. But it also difficult to find even the the taxi. Because during during hard time, Jum'ah, no, even Makkah, they go to Masjid also. Right? Yeah. But you can pray there also. But, but you can, but also Azizia is considered Haram. Yeah. Can you walk from uh, Haram to Mina? Uh, how much yeah, yeah, you can walk. There's, there's a special place for to walk, walking. How many miles? Oh, maybe about three miles maybe. Yeah. More maybe, yeah, I don't know. What are you recommending for the best footwear, given we're going to be doing so much work? I mean, the sandals and there's many different things. Yeah, this one, like, like, like uh, Tariq wear. Can you take it off for us, please? Yeah. Yeah, I get this good. Uh, that's so good. That's uh, when during the stoning, because some people stop, step on them. Yeah. yeah. From the huh? Mahid, this one? Mahid. But the the Mahid Mahid. Yeah, you just, you just. Yeah. Can you wear normal Huh? No, we have to, uh, uh, your, your toes and your ankle have to be uncovered. Yeah, have to be uncovered. You can wearing normal shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Are we going to meet uh, at the airport or just for? Yeah, you're good. At three hours before, you have to be there. Like separately, or we have to meet like? No, no, no. Just when you go, when you go airport, just check in. Okay. Check in. Check in, and go. I'm sorry, but when you are in the airport, you don't wait for me. If I'm not there, just check in. Check in, and then make sure that you lug it until Jeddah. When you check in, Seattle. Yeah, in Seattle, okay. until Jeddah. When you check in, also show them the, the visa. Because sometimes they didn't know which one. Maybe. You check in, show the visa, and they, yeah. So if we have already T Mobile lines here, so huh? suggesting that we do not need to get another SIM in Sunday? Yeah, also you can use the local one. So you, you ask them to what you call unlock. Mm -hmm. So you can use the SIM. Yeah. No, no it's very difficult now. Even if you have a SIM and you put it there, in order to to charge again, renew again, I think you have to have a, pa a passport and everything. Yeah. If you have a T-Mobile SIM, mm -hmm. you, don't, you, uh, you don't have to. You can still text, you can still use data and WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. So it's easier if you have a T-Mobile phone, just go and don't worry about it. It's because it's hard, sometimes it's hard to find 
Yeah. 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 The passport will get late because they have a lot of <laughs> hassles. Right? Uh, before we start, Shalom, I would like to show you the, uh, how to wear ihram. So, Basically, if you used to wearing sarung, you know sarung, is a, is no problem, you know Indonesia and Bangladeshi, right? But if not, so when you wearing ihram like this, so make sure that you 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 you, you try to open your leg like this when you are wearing it, right? Because if not, and then you walk <laughs> <laughs> like the woman just wear <laughs> like this and like this. So you can put like this or like this, right? And you close this. Um, yeah. Can you have belt? And then you have the belt. We need belt. <laughs> so you are nothing. <laughs> Wear the belt, right? And make a belt. I think I have belt. Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah. This is the belt. So good to have. Uh, so you can put everything here because you need to bring money. You know, at least, but don't to put too much money here. Yeah. You know, 100, 200 reals, just to what you need, right? And then, okay, like this. Paras. You can also put two, the, the regular one and this, right? Like, regular two? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah? And if you if you forgot, or oh, you can buy also over there. A lot, like this. You can use pins, right? You can use pins, yeah. It's okay to spend. Yeah, you can spend it. Yeah. So then, where's the other Oh, yeah. So, of course, you have nothing here. Right? So, mostly just, you know, mix like this and like this. You can put pins here. Right? Then, uh, when Tawaf Kudum in the beginning, it is soon not to open like this. Right. The right hand or the right hand? Right hand. Right hand. Yeah. So you're walking, right? And then you can just keep it like this, or after three, you cover again. But if you are in hotel, you're walking, it's, don't open here. Right? During only when you're going to enter, you can throw off, and then you start open. Right? Not because a lot of people, they always, from the beginning, they open like this. It's not sunnah, and also it's not good. Yes? Do you keep it like that when you're doing the sign too? Or the no, no. Only Tawaf Kudum. Sayyina. Sayyina. Only for Umrah after the Tawaf al-Hajj? Uh, yeah, not Tawaf al-Hajj, no. Only for Tawaf Kudum. This, because the story, the story when, when the Quraysh mentioned that the Muslims, they are weak, and they have something in their body, before, for, for political reason, it's politics. <laughs> the certain time, yeah, right. but now it becomes sooner because the Lord did it, right? So, inshallah, my wife is going to give you all the passport and documents. Yeah, Imam. Yeah. I'm actually one thing to know. One of the things I learned on uh, Thursday or Friday is if you are bringing credit cards, you should tell your institution that you will be out of the country because otherwise they will freeze your passport. They will freeze your card. If they have some type of transaction that is uh, out of the ordinary, right? So if you're, you know what I mean? Something, you're going to bring your, your, your credit card and use it in agenda, for example, your bank will cut off your card because it's, they're not used to seeing transactions on your card in agenda. So you have to tell them in advance. Yeah. Huh? To put the green card? They have a safety box in the hotel. Yeah, but mostly, mostly I put in the my luggage in the secret area. It's better. Yeah, yeah. So it's not recommended to keep it with you. No, no. Everybody have uh, the the responsibility. Yes. Is it recommended for people to pass on your No, 
Yeah, very, very, very good question. The sunnah of fasting only people who are not in Hajj. During the Hajj is sunnah, not fasting. Because you are no need to do ibadah. And you're hungry mostly. <laughs> you know, it's very difficult. The sunnah, you don't go to Hajj, is fasting. But you are the Hajj, not fasting. But even during over there, it's better not fasting because you want to do a lot of ibadah, yes. Email, you said that you have to have a record for your vaccination <coughs> when you land in Yeah, yeah. I'll be giving to you guys. We don't yeah, you, you will have it again. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they will bring back all the, the document that you needed. Yeah. So, uh, yes. As a group, we have a way of communication just in case. Yeah, yeah. So don't forget to, to write my, my number and uh, answer it. So inshallah, Sheikh Sofyan is with us. We have Sheikh Sofyan, we have Sheikh Abdullah, he will be on our staff, inshallah. Uh, he used to uh, live in Medina, so he knows everything, inshallah. Now uh, he will be helping us, inshallah. So also, we need also to get his number when we are there, so when something happens, inshallah. Right? Say something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Assalamualaikum. Um, all in the pass, uh, the one, the, the passport with in the back attached is your uh, etiquette and the um, the vaccination. So you can take it out, but please bring it with you because sometimes they check it in the Jeddah airport. Uh, also, about just want to clarify about the. Um, sleeping bag, I mentioned, you don't have to bring sleeping bag, you can get the um, yoga mat or mat, doesn't have to be sleeping bag, okay? It's hot and you're going to throw it anyway. After Musdarifah, you don't want to carry it anymore. It's dust, dirty, nobody want to carry it anymore. Okay, so you can just, you know, Check leave in. it, throw it. Uh, the <coughs> the check-in, you can see in the etiquette is all right there where you have to go make sure check your um, time and go straight to that uh, if say operated by delta go to delta not to uh, air france so when you see operated by some other airline go to that airline and check in uh, luggage all the way to jeddah make sure all the way to jeddah and you don't have to wait for us just check in okay so they have two group in our group one is uh, mostly from Seattle, I think, all go to Paris, right? Uh, yeah, from Seattle, mostly go to Paris. How many of? Uh, uh, for, uh, with, uh, uh, Imam Sofyan will be 33, including him and his wife, and with us, 52, through Beirut. Yeah. So some have to be wearing ihram from uh, Munich, and all the other will be from Beirut. Right. So who are we who are starting from here? You are from here? Yeah. You are, you are Paris, right? Paris? Paris? Yeah, check yeah. Your, 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 you know, most Seattle all go to uh, Paris with us, except for Brother Abduli. Ab Abdullahi go with uh, Imam, Imam Sofia. Sofia. Okay? <laughs> Paris? Why am I single now? <laughs> <laughs> no, you have a because special VIP. VIP. Because, because you are still young, so you have to be young Imam. You have to have, you have to help him. <laughs> So, brother, Delta Airlines, yeah, 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 yeah. I have a question about uh, can you do flossing during Enam? Flossing, yeah, yeah. Anything have connection with medicals is allowed yeah, during the Enam time. Or, uh, yeah, yeah. Or like uh, something in fungus. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Allowed, yeah. If you have problem with your feet, mm -hmm. you cannot wearing sandal. You can wearing shoes. So anything have problem? Huh? In my toenail. Yeah, you can, you can use. So anything that is bothering you, you cannot make top without that. You allowed to wear it. And also for Asian, you can put some hydrocodone. Yeah. Allowed. So what? Don't forget the medicine. If you have special medicine, you have to bring it. Yeah. When you're wearing a um, okay to wear watches. Yeah, you can wear a watch. 
Yeah, too many ones. Take like very small uh, scissor, little bit like this. Scissor? Very small one. Yeah, but don't uh, bring the carry, carry on. You can the luggage. The luggage? Yeah. Yeah. You can get one? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, put the luggage because they will check it out. Yeah. 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 So don't forget so to make a uh, 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 copy of your passport and the uh, visa. Because sometimes you need it, if you lost something, so you have the copy. You go to uh, American Embassy, or you want to go to Jeddah, for example, you need that one. You know, the visa and the copy as passport. Yeah. And please Press read on. again whatever I send to you. Read it many times. There's a lot of information. I know it's annoying, but you know, please read it. It's very important. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. What is one? Muhammad Islam is here. Muhammad Islam here. Okay. What time best time we should uh, reach uh, airport? Three hours before, better. Because okay. mostly, uh, mostly, you know, like you go out uh, abroad has to be three hours. So the best. Ten. Yeah, ten o'clock. At least ten o'clock, better. By ten o'clock we should be there. Huh? Yeah. Ten o'clock we should be there. Yeah. It's one o'clock, right? Yeah, one fifteen. Yeah. One fifteen. Yeah. One fifteen. Yes, sister. Carry what? Pray what? It's good because you can pray in the airport. Yeah, pray. Oh, uh, carry a simple one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the pocket one. Yeah, simple one. It's good. Yeah. So don't forget all the book of the uh, the Quran. You know the prayer rug. And also the food. We uh, we order Muslim food, right? But maybe you don't like it. And you have the wrong journey. So bring your food, biryani, whatever you like, right? <laughs> Not biryani. So bring your food, it's very funny. At least from here to Paris, we have food. Right? Food can be carried. Yeah, you can carry food. Food is long. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And also be careful, don't bring your laptops. Yes. Because when you come back, they're not allowed. Only, I think, the two Ireland are allowed, no? I think that the is gone. They're gone? Alhamdulillah. So you can wear an airport, no? Alhamdulillah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Any other question? So, so, don't, uh, so read it, all this information that I just sent to you to study about the dua thing, right? And then uh, the last one, inshallah, so don't forget, before you leave, very important before you leave make sure that you have uh, if you have something with anyone your parent your father your your brother sister make sure you before you leave you finish everything so don't go over there you still have something with your friend even by some of them made mistake you call them uh, brother uh, you know please forgive me I'm grateful for Hajj Right? And the last one, don't forget to make wasiya, to make good advice for your children. <laughs> because hard, we don't know. Right? Even to ask it, wa inna ila rabbina la munqalibun. Maybe we return to Allah SWT, we don't know. May Allah SWT give you all long life, inshallah. No, except in Hajj, inshallah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Yafi, Nama, Kafi, Majidah, Rabbana, Raka, Alhamdulillah, Kama, Inbagi, Li Jalali, Wajika, Wadim, Sultanik, Allahumma, Salli, Wa Salli, Ma, Rasinna, Muhammad, Wa Alali, Wa Sahbi, Ajma'in, Allahumma, La Sahla, Illa, Ma, Ja'atu, Sahla, Allahumma, Sahil, Umur, Hajjina, Allahumma, Balikna, Illa, Baitika, Al-Haram, Wa Ziyarat, Rasulika, Al-Adam, Aminin, Salimin, Al-Ghanimin, Allahumma, Hina, Al-Islam, Wa Sunnah, Wa Tawafana, Al-Iman, Wa Tawbah, اللهم اجعل حجنا حجا مبرورا وذنبا مغفورا وسعيا مشكورا وعملا مقبولا يا ارحم الراحمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا ذب النار سبحانك وبحمدك لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك وصلى الله وسلم الحمد لله رب العالمين